Hi friends, this is Tina Zink, Serene Stamper, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. And if you recognize this, then you have seen my Glittered Napkin Technique. It's a video I did years ago. I uh, can't quite remember how long ago, but it's been a long time. And I just actually came across this in my stash of cards the other day. I did a few cards in that video and uh, I must have given them away because this is the only one I could find. But this is made with a napkin and it is such a um, popular and fun technique with um, my wonderful followers here on YouTube and on my blog. And since I did this video, uh, the products that I used, a lot of the products such as the heat and stick powder, um, have long since been retired. Stampin' Up! no longer carries them. And so I've been asked many times if I would do a new video showing how to get this beautiful glittery look using napkins, um, using what Stampin' Up! currently offers. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you how you can do this technique using what we have. And if you've never done this technique, brace yourself because you are going to be wowed. And if you love glitter and all sparkly things as much as I do, you are going to absolutely want to give this a try. So these are our multi-purpose adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up! They measure 6 inches by 12 inches and you get 12 sheets in a package. So let me show you the napkin that we're going to be using on this card. Isn't this cute you guys? Oh my goodness, I just loved it. I found this package of napkins in our local grocery store. Um, the napkins that I used on my original cards I found in our dollar store. And um, it's amazing if you just look around at all the different beautiful patterns and designs that you can find. So what you want to do, I'm actually going to get four cards out of this because there's four images. So what you want to do is peel off those extra layers. Now this one actually has two layers behind this image. So you see there is actually two more layers beneath this one. So you want to make sure you get all those excess layers peeled off of the um, the design and now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut one of those images out because this is a square image I'm not going to do a standard five and a half by four and a quarter card um, not quite sure what size the card will be yet we will know when we finish the video <laughs> so I have cut that out and I'm going to set these aside, use them for another card. I'm not worried about the edges because I will be trimming those out. So I'm just taking my stamp and trimmer and I want to measure this, get a rough idea of what it measures. And it is about four and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this down to four and a half by four and a half. So I'm thinking this may be a square card, which is kind of fun to do something different. Okay, now I'm taking my adhesive sheet and I'm gonna cut the same size, four and a half by four and a half. And we need two of those. Doke. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel off the top layer of this um, adhesive sheet and stick that onto my Whisper White cardstock. I'm using white because I want that to come through. If you use a darker color, this is going to be the card base and this is Night of Navy. You see the difference? So I want to have that white to keep it nice and bright. Now I'm just putting this right onto my Whisper White. It's very sticky. And give it a good rub. And this is what we are going to use to put our napkin on. So we're now going to peel off that other layer. 
Okay, so slowly peeling that off. Now I can see that some of that um, adhesive didn't stick down here, so I'm going to um, put that down on the bottom because I can always trim that up. Okay, so now it's time to put the napkin on. You want to really try to get all those wrinkles out. Give it a really good rub. Okay, so now my napkin is adhered to my Whisper White. If you use um, a wet glue, like our liquid glue, I think it would tear this napkin because it's so, so thin. Um, this adhesive sheet works really, really great. Okay, so now I'm taking my second piece of my adhesive sheet. And I'm going to repeat what I just did, but this time it's going to be on top of the printed napkin. Again, give it a good rub. Okay. So I know I'm going to be trimming off a little bit of the design down below and on the side, but that's okay because I've got the antlers in and I've got the sentiment in. Now before I tear off that top layer, I want to trim up those edges. And this is what's going to determine, I think, my card size. So now those are nice and even. Again, really making sure that that adhesive sheet is pushed down really well on top of that napkin. And start at a corner and just lift off that top layer. I'm actually going to use um, my piercing tool to start this. Okay. So you can see the color below it so you know you're peeling off the right layer and I'm just peeling off nice and slow. And you can see all the adhesive has transferred to the napkin. I cannot wait to get my glitter on this you guys. So you can see the shine. That's the adhesive. Okay, you guys, let's get some glitter on there. I've got my Dazzling Diamonds. This is Stampin' Up! Glitter. In my opinion, it's the best glitter I've ever used. <laughs> I love it so much. And I'm just sprinkling it on. Oh my gosh. I want to make sure you cover the whole thing. Okay, I'm just taking a piece of computer paper and I'm flipping this over and I'm just uh, really rubbing that glitter into that adhesive. Okay, let's see. Can you see the glitter on that? Oh! Guys, that makes me so happy. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. So let's finish our card. The first thing I want to do is, I can't remember what this measures at. So it's just past four and a quarter by the same. So I'm going to mat this at four and a half by four and a half. 
So I'm going to start with my real red and cut this down four and a half by four and a half. So that looks pretty with the red behind it. Now looking at the green in this, I'm going to say that's almost lemon lime twist or old olive and garden green. So I've gone ahead and cut a piece of garden green four and three quarters by four and three quarters because I always like to layer a quarter of an inch um, bigger. And I was off a little bit on this edge, but that's okay. So you can see how those colors are coordinating with the light bulbs and the trees. And my card base is going to be Knight of Navy. So because this last layer is four and three quarters by four and three quarters, I cut my card base to measure five by ten so that it will fit on here perfectly. So the next thing I need to determine if I want to add some ribbon on there before I put it on, and I think I do. Okay, I've decided to use some of our braided trim. This is from our holiday catalog. Um, just because I don't want anything too dark to take away from everything else that's going on on this. So I'm just going to uh, measure it across, trim it, and then put adhesive over the entire bit. You really want to make sure you put enough adhesive on your card layers so that they don't fall off your cards. Okay, I think I'm going to put that right about there. Fold it over and that adhesive on the back will hold it down. And then put that on my card. Okay, I want to have a double bow, so what I'm going to do is take this um, trim, wrap it around my two fingers, I'm going to leave a bit of a tail, I'm going to go around twice, and then my third finger and repeat that, and then hold it in place, and trim it, and then cut another piece because I'm going to Oops. Fold those down in the center. I'm going to take this piece and wrap it around the center and tie a knot. can see I'm gonna have all those extra little loops I'm just playing with them a little bit Get them out okay I'm gonna trim that trim these ones as well Now I have to determine where I want to put this. I think I think I'm going to put it over here um, by the deer's chest because we have the sentiment over here, which is a big bold image and I think putting this over here just draws too much over to the right so I'm going to put it right there 
So I'm just going to take my glue dots and put them behind this bow. So pretty. I think I want to trim that down a little bit more. Very nice. Now I have a piece of computer paper and I've cut this down to measure four and three quarters by four and three quarters. That's going to go on the inside of my sentiment. For my sentiment, I'm going to use the Merry Christmas to All set because I know that this image is a nice big size and it says, May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy, which I think is great because seeing a deer out in the trees would be beautiful at Christmas time or any time of year. Just going to put that on my block. And because the sentiment is in red, I'm going to use my real red. Ink that up really, really well. So there is the finished card. I'm really happy with that, and the glitter is is just so beautiful. Now because this is not our standard card size I'm going to need a coordinating envelope that fits this so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have chosen a piece of designer series paper. This is from our All is Bright designer series paper in the Holly catalog because it has the same colors except for the blue but it's got all the colors in there and I really like how that looks. So because this is five by five I need an envelope that measures five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Now some of my viewers may not have ever seen our envelope punch board. I know I have some new stampers that have not seen this before so I'm happy to show you how this works. So looking down here on the grid I am looking for a card that will give me five and a quarter by five and a quarter or thereabouts. Okay, so I see on here I have measurements for five and a half by five and a half. So I'm gonna go with that because I'd rather have my envelope a little bit too big than too small. So that means I need a nine by nine piece of paper and the scoring line is going to be at four and a half. So let me cut this to measure nine by nine. I'm just gonna open up the arm on my trimmer. Line it up at the nine mark. This paper is so beautiful. I'm gonna have to order some more before it's gone. This is going to be retiring out of our holiday catalog. So uh, those of us who want to get more, we need to get on that because once it's gone, it's gone for good. Okay, so we have a little tool here on the side. I'm gonna pull that out. I have my nine by nine designer series paper and the scoring line is four and a half. So I'm going to line this up at the four and a half mark and you can see there's a groove here. So that's what I'm going to put my tool in. So I'm just going to score it and punch. Then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and line that score line up with the score guide right here. So line that up, punch it and score. Turn it around and repeat the same thing. I love having this envelope punch board. I can create envelopes for any size card or project that I've made, but of course we can make boxes and uh, all kinds of things. So now on this end, I'm going to round the corners. I'm going to do it on all four. that in so I don't lose it. Tuck that aside. So now we are ready to fold. So take my bone folder. I'm just going to fold in on those lines that we've scored. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here on the flap just to hold that bit down. 
put some glue down here, down here, and then fold up the bottom. Perfect. And of course, another one of the beautiful things of having our double-sided designer series paper is having that different pattern and uh, color on the inside of the envelope. So now I'll just take my card and slide it right in. So I'll show you how I'm going to present this. I'm going to put a special little gift card in this because I am making this for somebody in mind. So their card will have a Christmas gift in it. And when I give it to them, it's going to have a bow. And I will trim that up. Now I'm taking my Knight of Navy ink pad. And again, I'm using the Merry Christmas to All. Stick that on my block. Tap it down and I'm using the season's greetings from our home to yours okay so now I'm taking my real red marker and I'm just going over the season's greetings my garden green and I'm going over the uh, bottom line from our home to yours so this way I'm using the three main colors on that greeting card I can see it missed a little bit on the top here. And stamp it in the middle. I love how that fits in there perfectly. I've got my Merry Christmas dies which coordinate with this stamp set. And it lines up perfectly on there. I'll put this on my big shot. I've got my magnetic platform. Put my plate on. Run it through. And this, once I have my gift inside the card, will go on like that. So you can see it just matches and coordinates it perfectly. Very easy to do. So let me go ahead and just slide that off and show you the card again. What a great card. Who wouldn't love getting a sparkly card like that? So my friends, there you have it, an updated video on how to create the glitter napkin technique using our multi-purpose adhesive sheets and our dazzling diamond glitter. Um, a little bit different from how my original video was demonstrating how to do this technique, but this is very quick, very easy, and um, it's just it's just a great wow card so dazzling and beautiful and of course depending on the napkins you use you can do thanksgiving and any holiday and birthdays and the seasons so the sky is the limit but this technique will never disappoint so thank you for watching i appreciate you happy stamping